Here I am going to show you uh, the superimpose fold with the help of folding papers. The superimpose fold are basically of three kinds. Type 1, dome embracing, type 2, boomerang or mushroom fold and type 3, hook shape or divergent, convergent divergent interface fold. Although there is also a kind of superimpose fold uh, that is known as type 0 fold because it is hard to trace a fold of type 0 because if we don't know sometimes they don't uh, even leave behind any trace that they have undergone two phase of deformation for they are actually a superimposed fold so that's why we call them type 0 fold so at first I'm going to show you type 0 fold suppose this is a rock layer this paper this is the fold that I am going to show you with the help of paper. Suppose a deformation in a rock bed caused the formation of fold like this. Now a second deformation was parallel to the first deformation and it caused the formation of fold like this. So that is type 0 fold from this to this although it is very sometimes impossible to trace whether it is by a single phase of deformation or two phase of deformation or more than two phase of deformation are, uh, are involved in this so that's why we call them type 0 fold after giving the type 0 fold here I am going to discuss type 1 fold type 1 fold is also known as dome and bosom fold or egg carton fold because collectively they look like a carton of egg okay here we have domes and basins okay a single dome is surrounded by four basins and single basin is surrounded by four domes okay so suppose this is the rock layer the first the first phase of deformation caused the formation of fold like this okay now the second deformation the second phase of deformation was such that uh, it created a second superimposed fold and axis of new fold is perpendicular to the axis of first fold and it was oriented like this and it created a dome like structure okay their axial plane and axis both are perpendicular to each other and this is not a recumbent fold okay so this kind of a structure is type 1 fold or dome and basin fold okay also known as a curtain fold okay so this kind of fold is formed by the superimposition of first first deformation and second deformation okay so that is type 1 fold after coming to the uh, after going to the type 1 fold we have type 2 fold type 2 fold is also known as boomerang fold or mushroom fold because uh, after erosion on a surface which is showing a boomerang or mushroom fold their outcrop look much like a mushroom shape the head of a mushroom and or a structure is looking like a boomerang suppose this is a layer and it form a recumbent fold like this in the recumbent fold the fold uh, the the axial plane is parallel or nearly parallel to the surface so the fold must be like this okay this is limb one this is limb two the plane is parallel to this axial plane is parallel to the surface horizontal this is axial line okay and here we have a fold a second fold in a such a way that it is perpendicular to the the axis of second fold is perpendicular to the axis of first fold that is recumbent fold so we have to make a fold such that it has an axis perpendicular to the axis of first fold so the fold must be looking like this okay so if you open the paper that I have folded, you can, this is the axial trace of the first fold, okay, 
and these are the axial trays of the second fold which are perpendicular to each other and the fold would look like this okay and at last I am going to discuss type 3 fold or known as hook shaped fold or zigzag fold convergent divergent interface fold okay at first to develop a type 3 fold we have uh, we must have a recumbent fold okay so this is recumbent fold whose axial plane is parallel to the uh, surface or horizontal plane okay so the recumbent fold must look like this this is limb 1 this is limb 2 its axial plane is par uh, parallel to the surface and we have to develop a second uh, fold by the secondary deformation or second phase of deformation in a such a way that the new fold has axial line parallel to the uh, axial line of the uh, fold uh, first fold that is formed by the first phase of deformation and we have to fold in this manner okay so the fold should be looking like this okay this is the at first this was the recumbent fold and second forms of form of deformation phase of deformation cause the formation of fold like this okay if you open the fold you can see this was the axial trace of the first fold and here we are getting axial trace by the second phase of deformation and this axial trace is parallel to the axial trace of the recumbent fold so the fold should be looking like this okay so this is type 3 fold or hook shape or zigzag fold thank you